Hey, Jason Starr here, and the title of this video is When Writing a Comic, Should You Team Up with an Artist from the Get-Go, or Should You Approach Editors and Publishers on Your Own? And this is a question that not only aspiring comic book writers have, but writers who uh, have written many comics who might be pitching an idea for an original comic series or graphic novel often ask themselves this question before approaching editors and publishers with a new project. They sort of strategize, like what's the best way to go in? Is it better to go in with an artist attached or on, on your own? And even if the writer has worked with an artist for years, there's uh, pros and cons to this. So I'll give you my opinions about which way to go um, and what's in, depending on the situation. But first off, the other day I did a video here on uh, breaking into comics and the importance or the necessity of having some sort of existing body of work to show potential editors. So if you go to a Comic-Con and you go to a booth, let's say the Marvel booth, and you meet an editor and you start pitching an idea and you're like, I have a great idea uh, for the next Spider-Man arc. And I don't care if it's like the best idea ever. Uh, there's such a small chance that that's going to lead to getting hired to do that because um, editors have access to so many writers for, for projects, so they can go to existing writers they've used before, um, they can go to writers with some sort of track record, so it's really vital to have some sort of portfolio of work uh, or um, ammunition to give the, the editor. So not only to convince them that you're going to be reliable, that you're going to produce on time, but so then they can make the same argument to their marketing people when they ex and people in-house when they uh, explain why they're hiring you. So you want to have a portfolio of work. It could be sample scripts. It could be... Um, uh, it, it should definitely be sample scripts. I mean, you can't have not written anything, so you want to have sample scripts. Um, I talked about some of the books you can read that uh, explain the, the format of comic script. But on top of that, it, obviously it's great if you have some celebrity status or you're an existing novelist or you've written short stories. But aside, aside from that, you might want to meet an artist um, at a Comic-Con or online and team up create a, a uh, online comic or at least a sample that you could show potential editors and publishers of how you can e execute an idea. Another great idea would be to if uh, write a sample comic of an existing superhero. For example, if you have a great idea for a Spider-Man story, write it. And if you team up with an artist, draw it. Um, not necessarily to sell, but just to use as a sample of how you can execute an idea. Because again, it's not just the idea, it's how you can execute it. And having a sample of an existing um, series is something that happens all the time in TV. When someone's trying to break into TV writing, they'll often write a sample script in the genre they're trying to break into. So for example, if they're trying to be a comedy writer, they'll write a Seinfeld uh, script. If they're trying to write, uh, break into thrillers, they might write uh, a, a Dexter script or Sopranos or whatever uh, genre they're trying to break into. They want to have an example of something existing to just to show that they could handle uh, working with uh, existing characters, but also that they know the format of the uh, of the genre. So similar in comics, you want to have an existing body of work. Okay, so now you're at the point where you're pitching ideas to editors and publishers. Let's say you've gotten your, your first couple of comics going, or even if it's your first big series that you're trying to pitch, you want to know, should you approach the editor with an artist? And there are pros and cons to this. The big pro of having a artist attached from the get-go is that creatively you can conceive of the idea together. And 
for me, when I was working, for example, on the uh, the returning, which was a mini series collected into a uh, a trade paperback that uh, Boom Studios did, um, I I conceived of that whole idea with Andrea Moody, uh, a great Italian artist, and uh, we'd always wanted to work together on something, and we we conceived of this idea together, and we pitched it together, and I think the idea was stronger because we worked on it together uh, from the get go. There are situations, though, where you will want to approach an editor on your own without an artist, and the, the, the big reason for that is um, editors not only have access to so many writers for, for, for particular projects, and that's an obstacle, but they, already, they also have access to uh, a huge number of artists, and they have their portfolio sitting on their desk, and sometimes a publisher has an artist in mind for a particular pro project. It might be because they have an existing deal with that artist and they promise them another project, or it's just an aesthetic that they they have that they have in mind for your for your script, and they might not necessarily agree with your choice of artist. So, I like to in some situations not give uh, editors or publishers another reason to say no. They, they, it's very competitive, and you want to put yourself in the best chance of getting a sale. So. If they, they, there are situations where they might love the writing, but they have another artist involved, or they just might not like the art for whatever reason. So you don't want to give them a reason to say no. On the other hand, if you know in advance that they love that particular artist, and that, that will be an asset to you getting the sale, then it's great to team up. So I suggest like doing a little research beforehand just to make sure the editors you're pitching or potentially on board with that artist. Otherwise, you might want to consider going in alone. Um, so it's dependent on the situation. But the big thing is when you are trying to break into comics, make sure you have some sort of portfolio of work. You're, you're really wasting your time if you just pitch an idea uh, to an editor, or it, whether it's online or at a Comic-Con, and you, and you haven't created anything yet. And this doesn't mean you have to have some sort of booming career already, but they at least show like the ambition and the desire and that you've honed your craft. Give them that ammunition uh, to be able to pitch you in-house. So I hope that helps. Uh, please like my video, subscribe to the channel, and I will be back with more tips on comics and novel writing soon.